So, okay, uh, if you have not gotten that far, don't fret. You can always do this uh, at a later stage also and practice. Uh, and you will be doing something similar on the, on the workshop also. Uh, so you will have plenty of time to practice your domain modeling. This will not be on the grid. <laughs> this is just for, for practice. Uh, and I will now take a few minutes to show you what I came up with. Of course, I've uh, had some previous training, so maybe it's cheating. But anyway, we should at least have some conceptual classes. Anyone has a good conceptual class that you think should be included in this model? course seems like a good idea course of course schedule teacher Had uh, room, uh, whoa, we have booking. have a concept called wish here. Uh, I think I will name that request instead. Student. Room description. Task. Equipment. This is a good thing. We have the infinite whiteboard. We have message, notification, course report. The problem with the smart boards is that once they, you fill them up, they become kind of laggy. <laughs> so, but we have a lot of, lot of stuff here. And this is actually about the same classes that I have found also. I think I have like 
course occasion also uh, stuff like that but when I made this model I realized that it was actually two different domains we have this scheduling domain and we have this uh, administrative domain so I opted actually to split the two into two separate domains two separate domain models and they will have some concepts that are uh, shared probably student course course occasion and stuff like that but I think that doing two domain models in this case is a good idea because you will probably get a large clump of uh, conceptual classes that are quite interrelated on one side of the your model and then you will get another clump of interrelated classes that are quite connected to each other on the other side and you will have few connections in between these two clumps so to speak so it is probably better to split the two into two different models and I uh, have elected to focus on the administrative part because I found that to be more interesting uh, in my case I will also post a proposed model for the scheduling part also on the course homepage but for the administrative part that is the part with uh, laboratory exercises and results from students and uh, the, the things that I find tricky actually in my profession to keep track of student results and keep uh, and you guys probably have also problems oh ha what grade did I get on this laboratory exercise you don't really know probably if you haven't written it down or something like that so I find this to be a, a real problem and uh, quite a interesting problem also so a central part in this is of course a course And I like to separate the course from the course occasion. That is the actual occasion of the course. So we have a, a more, you could maybe call this a course description. It's a description of, of the course. And the course occasion is the actual running of the course. Have teacher. You have two roles that teachers have for a course. You have a course responsible and you have an examiner. Sometimes those are the same, but they're two different separate roles. And for the course occasion, you can probably have several different teachers involved that may or may not be the same persons as the course responsible and the examiner students are enrolled in course occasions
And students also belong to a class, possibly. You can also have free students that also that just go for courses. For some, for some courses. But you guys all belong to a class. That is based on a program. So you have a program that you belong to, and you are the class of 2013. And for each class, you have a planned set of courses. This is the plan for this class. You should take the, these courses in this order, and that course is uh, electable or, or whatnot. Yeah, there is one instance, of course, per course, and several course occasions. So this course, 1DV407, has been running for quite a few years, so we have several course occasions for that course. So this is possibly a basic description of the how courses and, and stuff like that work. So the interesting part here maybe is more oh. <laughs> damn it. If you're not careful, when you do this. Ah, we will just add something up here. So, um, the problematic part then I find is that each course description, each course occasion has several different tasks for the students to complete to get the final grade. So it could, the typical, a typical course has uh, theory and laboratory exercises. And the theory may be divided into maybe a quiz and a take-home exam. And the laboratory exercises maybe have five different laboratory exercises. And possibly, if you fail one of these, you has to have to do a, a complementing task or an extra task, an extra assignment. So you have kind of, for the course, you have for the course occasion, you have this generic template that every student should follow. You, you should do these, this stuff, but people miss deadlines, people miss, uh, miss the exams, and they need to redo. And keeping track of all these results, and especially extra assignments with different deadlines, is quite uh, hard. So we also have some kind of link between the students and the tasks of the course. And this is what I think of as the result in the problem description. So when you start the course, you get all the tasks of the course that's described in the course occasion. But you probably get the status not started. 
and as you complete your tasks, you get results for them. They could be working, or they could be a grade, or they could be in completion, or something like that. Probably we want to save history about the courses to track the different books that have been used, for example. And you, I think also this is part of the course plans, the course curricula, to have the at least the mandatory course books there. So this is probably something that we would like to have. So to model this, I elected to actually have a reflexive association here. So that a task can be divided into subtasks. So you could, for example, have the task of completing the theory in the course. And the theory consists of a quiz and a take-home exam. When those two are finished, you have finished the theory. The tasks can also be the laboratory assi assignments. And you have several different laboratory assignments. And if you fail some part of it, you need to hand in a completion or something like that. And that should also be able to be, be handled by this. And this is something that is not that easy to grasp just looking at this model. So I often prefer to make examples using objects instead of classes. So we now use instances of our types. So we will have oh no So here we have an object instead of a class. So we have the finish course task. So it's an object of this class. It's an instance of that class. And we can have the theory task. We can have the lab task. We ha here we have two subtasks of the finish, finish course task, the theory and the lab. And this can in turn consist of quiz, ex take home exam, And you probably have a number of laboratory assignments also. And also possibly if you fail a laboratory assignment, you will get a let's see what it was called 
it was called a result. Hmm. So, for each of these tasks, the student can get the result. The failed result, for example, is something that you would not like to get, but if you're a bad student, you will get it. And possibly we would like to link actually a task to this. because maybe it was close, but not quite there. So maybe we should add that, because that relationship is not valid in our class diagram for this. So a result can possibly be So you can get an extra task linked to a result. So you got this extra task because you failed the first laboratory ex assignment. Yeah? Yeah, I'm finished. <laughs> Questions? You can probably take a look at this in the movie also and try to follow maybe a little bit more closely with five cups of coffee or something like that. Yeah, I would set stay, status as an attribute in results. Yeah, I, w I would probably. I think that that the the 